just ended and holiday season is starting, I figured I'd do another do's and don'ts of Sephora, just things to watch out, things to make your life a little bit easier, and move a little bit more fluently through the holiday seasons. So do number one for this video is if you have any promotional uh, emails or anything like that or you've heard of any deals, do read the fine print, do read the full email before you come in so you're not blindsided. And if you do have an email with a special deal or something on it, make sure to read it fully and show it to the cashier when you go up front because we're not supposed to be, especially during like VIB week or any of those kind of really exciting things where you get like a 20% off or something like that, we're not actually allowed to pr like ask you if you have the email, you have to show it to us. So it's really hard if you know somebody's a VIB but they don't tell you it because we can't be like, oh, and since you're a VIB, blah, blah, blah. No, because it doesn't happen automatically. It's a specific code that's on your email and do prompt that. That's something that we're not allowed to ask you, but even though if we really want to because we know you'll be getting deals, but we can't just be saying it openly because there's people that aren't part of that deal that might get upset. So. Read your emails fully and also just make sure that you are getting emails because you will get special deals if you are, well if you have the card. So if you have the VIB or just the BI account, that's just the regular black or black and white one is just the regular BI account. Then there's VIB which is silver and then VIB rouge which is red. So if you have any of the cards, you'll probably be getting some sort of deal throughout the year. We usually have two big events and then a couple little ones splattered through. Um, so just make sure that you're getting the emails so you are knowing what's happening and staying in touch because some deals you have to have your email. We need to be able to scan that specifically for you. We can't just be giving it to everyone, especially as well as special events. Like there's, we had one which was a closed door event, so we can't let other people in unless you've VIP, uh, RSVP to it and said that you're going to come there for it. Um, so just be aware of that. If you're wanting to get extra deals and you're like that idea, then sign up for the emails. Something else you can do for the holidays as well as any other time of the year is pay by credit. That will speed up your spending experience, your ring gang ring through experience because we go through the lineup and we'll grab out everybody that's using your credit card first um, just while we're trying to filter in just because we can take them off to the side and do it with our little M passes. So those are manual, manual um, credit card machines. So if you do have an the ability to go with a credit card that might speed up your experience as well as we can take them anywhere around the store so if we're doing a CMA so a full makeup experience or an express and you're wanting to just get rung through right there we can actually grab our machines and take it to you so that can really speed up your um, cashing out experience and that makes it a lot faster and easier and takes a little bit of a load off of the cashiers so if you do have that ability it's always a good thing to do it um, yeah so that's one other thing that you can do to speed up your your, and make your experience in Sephora a little bit smoother. Since we are talking about going to the cashier and that part of going to Sephora, um, something that we do want you guys to get used to or something that cashiers might ask you is if you've been applied to, that just means has somebody tried something on you? Has somebody applied makeup, a lotion to you, either on your actual face or onto your hand? Um, we just really like to keep track of who we're helping and if we need more people, because not enough people are getting helped, or try and ratio it that way. Um, so it's really good for us to make sure that we're staffing enough people to make sure that we're helping the enough people that are coming to the store. So don't feel bad or try and remember to tell them. They'll also try and ask you as well. But yeah, so don't forget, we'll also give you cards like express cards or um, there's ones with little face charts on it sometimes. That is for you because we'll write stuff down with it, but also just show that to the cashier. That helps kind of all of us to figure out how to make your experience a little bit better in the future. Something that also goes along with that is filling out the survey. I know it's a little bit gimmicky, but we actually legitimately read your comments. In every touch face, there's if we have time, we'll read out the comments, see what you guys are saying, what we need to improve on, what you really like. We also do call-outs. So at Sephora, we don't work on commission, we work on recognition. So if you really enjoyed what your artist is doing for you, make sure to write your name down, write your name down when you're filling out the survey. It's like a three-minute long survey. You can potentially win $250, but you're also getting your work a say into what's happening in Sephora. Um, we actually listen to those, we try and reflect on them and see how we can do it and if it's anything revolving Sephora collection makeup then that's what the company is looking for. It's a really 
consumer based company and there's like a mascara that none of us like clients weren't buying it that got off the shelf in like a month or two we really try and listen to what you guys are saying and reflect on that and really put out our best foot so don't feel bad to fill in the survey. We really do read it, and we love to hear what you guys are saying. So definitely just fill out this survey. We always love to hear what you guys are thinking and what your experience is, so we can always try and improve it. Um, there are some things that don't worry about writing down, like it's too expensive. It's not going to change. Um, wish we had more product. That's not also going to change either. We can't just... We get shipments two times a week, every second week. We can't change that. That's the shipment that we have. In Kelowna, I know we have five or six different Sephoras. If ours doesn't have it, ask us to phone a different Sephora. We will do that for you, and we'll get them to put it on hold at any other Sephora that's close by you or that's convenient for you. Um, so that's always another option. Something else that um, people say, like if they don't have the product there, is we can actually take your name down, and we'll write it in the book, and when we get the shipments in, we'll phone you personally and say that we have that product in stock, and if you're still interested in it, We'll put it off to the side for you. So there's ways that we can kind of try and help even if we don't have the products. But saying in the survey that we don't have all, enough products for you, that's not going to change. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about Something it. else for her to watch out when you go up to cash and you're doing a return is try and be organized and make sure you have receipts. I know we don't need receipts to return things and that policy is actually changing a little bit so watch out for that. Um, but with if you have the receipt and you have the box that's going to make your experience so much more faster so like for us as well as for you bring in your receipt and bring in your box it's going to save us time it's going to save you time we're not going to have to search online for the codes and stuff like that sometimes a simple return of one product could be easily like avoided and changed if you just had the box so just try and not lose the box if you are not 100% sure on the product. I mean, if you think you're going to love the product and then it turns out you've got an allergic reaction and you threw away the box, that's understandable. But if you can and you're not 100% sure, try and keep the box at hand or handy. Um, it just makes it easier for you when you're returning it as well as for us who are trying to return the product uh, swiftly. So that's it for my do's and don'ts of Sephora. This one was a little bit more cash related, um, but hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about Sephora and how to get a better experience out of Sephora when you're paying for your products. Um, and if you want to see this look, I'll link a tutorial as well as have a link right here to where I do a tutorial on this look. So check out that um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me anything else you want to learn about Sephora um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.